Any idea what this is about? You think we should be worried? I don't know. Hey guys, grab a seat if you can. Listen, you're my two best players. I just don't think you're on right now. We need a lot more. You look up here. Come on, the skinny jeans. Like, how tight are you gonna go with that? It's tapered legs. How about hair? Come on, hair. I don't have much left, but I thought it was okay. Yeah, throw a little gel in there or something, man. Like, I've seen you guys before. You're way better than that. I guess it was a little off, coach. It hasn't been good enough. I need a lot more. I'm not threatening you. Actually, I am threatening you. We got a big game tonight. Let's get out there. Let's get ready. Big win for BC kids. Let's go get them, guys. Okay, hey, coach. Yeah, we're ready to go. Shut the door on your way out, will you, please? You sure about the skinny jeans, coach? Yeah, a little too tight. 745, tough crowd with those skinny jeans. Jake Rattani from your Vancouver Canucks. Alex, the executive director of the Canucks for Kids Fund. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Uh, before we talk about the telethon, I want you to be completely honest on two questions, Jake. One, who on the team wears skinny jeans? And two, <laughs> Travis Green, coach, is he really like that behind the scenes? Yeah, I know. Uh, he's laughing at that video because it's uh, pretty pretty uh, bang on of uh, what he sounds like <laughs> in the dressing room. So, yeah. uh, And I think the, the only guy, uh, maybe Louis Erickson and Erica Branson, the two guys that wear skinny jeans the only, only guys who can fit in it <laughs> <laughs> okay good to know now yeah. that we have the important stuff out of the way yeah. uh today is an important day because the annual connects for kids fund telethon is happening tonight on sportsnet and uh injured right now but you've been a proud supporter of what happens in the community uh touch points of what you've seen why do you love a day like today yeah i, I think it's just a, it's a great cause and um you know, for so many good uh, charities and stuff that we do, and as as, as a as an organization, we like to support. And um, you know, uh, for me, I think it's uh, you know a lot a lot of these uh, you know organizations. Uh, you know, they they touch my heart, and specifically for me, the uh, mental health one is I I lost a friend to that, and um, you know, obviously all the lines are open right now, and it's it's nice to if you could get a call in early and and make a donation and we'd love to see that from you know everyone around here and that'd be great for us well when you have the chance to engage in the program you're talking about is hockey talks this yep. is one of the many beneficiaries that the connects for kids uh, fund supports and alex uh you've seen how this has grown year after year but who are the key winners i mean we know we're supporting bc kids but what makes tonight extra special Tonight is an awesome event because it is, it goes out throughout the whole province and we see donors from way up north to the island. Um, we're supporting our core beneficiaries tonight, which are Connect Place, Connects Autism Not Network and BC Children's Hospital, as well as the other programs we have like Hockey Talks, like our minor hockey programs. We want to grow the game in BC. Um, so it's, it's really great. This, we fund a broad spectrum of causes and every dollar that's raised tonight goes out to an important charity in BC. You know, I always think it's amazing and I, I've had the privilege to, to work on this for the last few years and Perry Solkowski is going to co-host tonight, um, obviously from Sportsnet 650, but when people are calling in, that connection that they, they want to talk about the donation and, and what they want to do and how they want to help kids. And one of the other programs is the Learn to Play program. And when you've been involved with that, Jake, what lights you up of connecting kids with the game yeah. we know and love? Yeah, and I think for me, you know, as a hockey player and, you know, being able to play it my whole life and, and, and then going to see these young kids and, and, you know, trying to make their dreams come true of, you know, being able to play hockey or... Um, you know, even, you know, seeing them with skates on and trying to skate, um, you know, it's, it's something special for me to see and a lot of, a lot of guys who, you know, we know we, we had a little bit better and, and uh, you know, we grew up in a little bit better families and stuff, but it's nice to see these kids that still have dreams and they want to make their dreams come true. and. We want to make that happen as much as we can. Yeah, and there's so many ways to yeah. do it. Jake was mentioning phone lines are open, but Alex, if people want to get involved today and support, uh, how do they do it? Uh, we'll take your money any way we can. <laughs> we're, uh, we're doing it online at connects.com slash telethon. You can call now, 1-85-KIDS-FUND. Of course, our broadcast starts tonight at about 6.45 with the world's greatest hosts. Yeah, Perry's and, great. Perry's yeah. fantastic. <laughs> You're pretty good, too. Um, so we're going to have lots of fun, tell some really important stories tonight. And what I love is that people donate a personal amount. Uh, every dollar counts. I bet we'll get some calls of people donating $18 after seeing Jake out this morning. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, it's a great way to give and as I said, do it now, do it often. Well, we're proud to be a partner with it. Of course, we'll have highlights on Breakfast Television tomorrow. Uh, you heal quick, sir. We need you back on the ice. Absolutely. With the I'll All try right. as quick as I can. And thanks for the great work. Uh, Alex, we'll Thank see you. you tonight. And again, connects.com slash telethon for all of the details. We'll take a break. 